Hey, what's up you guys, Clinger. Welcome back to the channel CoCommerce. In this video, this is a part of the Material UI Crash Course. In this video specifically, we're gonna be going over the select component here in Material UI. So this is kind of the example right here, as you can see, pretty cool. You can use right out the box. Uh, to get to this page here, just go to mui.com, then you go look, go look under uh, components there, and then just click on select, okay? So let's go ahead and create our component in here. So we're gonna create this inside of our inputs. Uh, so let's go ahead and create this. I'll call it um, input example.jsx. Our is gonna get our functional component. Uh, let's go, just go ahead and import this here. I'll comment this one out. And this one's gonna be the input example, just like that, there we go. And let's go back in here and let's see if we have our input example. Perfect. So let's go ahead and get this, this first one here. Pretty easy to use. Uh, we're gonna need to import a few things here. So let's go ahead and import all these here. There we go. Perfect. And it looks like we have some state involved in here that we're gonna manage our, um, kind of manage a few things in there. So let's go ahead and we'll grab our state. So let's put this in here. So by default, we're just setting an empty string. And what that's gonna do here, I'll pull this in here, we'll select that box. And I'm gonna put this inside of our div actually. So let's go ahead and save, get rid of that space there. So by default, if we refresh, we're just managing, it looks like handle change is not defined. So we forgot to add this in there. So let's bring over that handle change. There we go, gotta add some spacing in there. So by default, the state is actually gonna handle uh, what's actually in here. So if we click 10, 20 we're actually managing the state uh within this input box okay so that's kind of how that works there pretty cool so let's scroll down see if we can get a little bit more complicated here um just kind of changing filled these are the two uh variants here so we should just be able to change uh filled let's have a look on change label let's have a look we have our values Variant is filled underneath the form controlled. So let's go ahead and have a look at that. So form control, full width. If you want, we can remove that full width also, kind of drink, brings it back down a little bit. Um, or you can give it a size property as well. We'll set variant filled. Let's see how that looks. There you go, kind of changes the, the look a little bit. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see what else we have here. So we have some helper text. So if you want to add in some helper text, that's kind of cool there. Should just be able to add it right below. Um, Let's see, it should be like form helper text, I think. Let's see here. So yeah, form helper text. Looks like it goes just right below uh, the select here. So we only have one option right there. So form helper text with label helper text. So let's give it a refresh. Form helper text, we need to install, or sorry, import this component. There we go, so make sure that's imported. Let's give it a save. That you have there with this, our, our label there. So you could say, um, enter or we'll say select here select age here or something like that um kind of cool there 10 20 so that's pretty cool let's see what else we have here so um that's just with with the helper text without a label okay okay so it looks like when you select this uh, nothing kind of pops up there but i like that effect i think it's pretty cool so let's scroll down let's see auto width kind of messed around with that that's kind of cool um that should just be probably a, a variable we set here. So auto width, let's see how that works. And we're setting that on uh, the select min width. Let's see if we can add this here. So sizing, it's gonna give a margin of one, min width 80. So let's go ahead and add that in here on the form control. Instead of full width, let's go and paste that in there. See how that looks. Okay, that's kind of cool. So it's like auto width there. Min width 80, let's say 180. See how that looks. There you go, it looks a little bit better. Um, let's see here, we'll say auto width on the select. So just add in the uh, auto the auto width property there on the select. Kind of cool there. All right, let's see what else we have here. Um, small size, you could probably just say small. So let's see at the code here. Mm -mm -mm size small and that's going to go on the form control so let's see we'll just give it a size i don't know why you'd want it small but it might be a little bit small on the screen As you can see that shrunk a little bit let's say large adds up so you can see a small little change there nothing too um nothing too extraordinary other properties if you want to pass in let's select this so 
let's see under properties we can chat pass in if there's like an error or something like that let's see what else we can do native select so this is a little bit different of a select there so native select let's see that just native selects what that's called let's see here i'm going to go ahead and pop this open form control i'll just copy that and i'll just kind of put this mm, i'll put this in the box let's go ahead and copy this down and then I'll just replace this form control with everything else in there. Let's go ahead and save. Probably need to import native select. So let's import this. There we go. Material UI. It's kind of cool there. Let's give this uh, min width again. This box setting. Oh, we already did that. Minimum width, full width. We'll get rid of that. So let's see. There you go. Kind of cool there. Um, kind of different. Just, I think I like this first one to be honest. But you know, if you want to change it up, it's pretty cool too. Um, let's see what else we got text field. So if you just want to enter in some text, let's see what that is. Mm, kind of font family, lots of variables are defining there. You guys, you can just copy and paste this over. So by default, oh, this is kind of cool. So this is like a multiple, we can add multiple things here. So let's see, let's see what this is here. So, all right, I'm going to copy over this names here. So let's just copy that and getting some other definitions there so let's copy that i'm going to paste that in here and let's see here what else can we do get styles let's get that one there i'm gonna paste this in here it's above the names that's fine um and we'll place this handle change so let's copy that we'll place this handle change there Let's see what else. Name. We grab this. Did we already grab that? Let's grab this there. Multiple select. We should replace this age there. Okay. Let's see what else. All right. Then let's just replace this form control just like that. Scroll down here. And we'll put it. Let's put it in there, see how that looks here. Let's go ahead and save. So you're getting some errors. Use theme is not defined. Where's our use theme? And put example. Let's see here. Use theme, let's need to import that. Age is not defined. I thought we had some state in here. Let's see. Where's our state? Age. Oh, let's see here. Mm -mm -mm. Let's go ahead and I forgot I deleted that other state there. So let's just go ahead and get rid of all that. Let's leave this last one there. See if that takes care of the errors there. Outlined input is not defined, so let's see the outlined input. Where's outline? Input, probably just need to import that. So let's see. Outlined input, we'll grab that one and import it here at the top. Let's go ahead and save. Any more errors? There we go, let's see. So there you have it. Now we can select multiple items. You guys, all that was, you saw how quick that was. Ran into just a few little errors there, but you're able to work through it and just by copy and paste and straight from the material UI. I didn't have to actually write anything, copy and paste. So you can see material UI is really easy to use you guys. That's why so many developers love using it. Um, just so many uh, functionalities right out of the box, just like that. So pretty cool there. Um, Look, we have some check marks. That's pretty cool. That'll require just a little bit extra custom code. But again, just like we just did that, I mean, you can just copy and paste everything and it's going to work natively just like that. So chips here kind of adds it in just like tags. Um, you can add a placeholder in there. Should be just like a placeholder. Uh, should probably just be like a property down here. Um, so pretty cool there. Let's see if we can do kind of multiple selects in here, kind of like a native, a native look. Um, let's do this one here. We'll go ahead and have a look at that one. So let's just open this up and you know what? Let's just gonna, let's see here. Let's grab that form control. I'm just going to grab the whole thing just like that. And I'm just going to replace everything in here for the form control. We'll paste. I'm probably gonna need some of this code here. So let's go ahead and take all this. 
we'll grab the names. So scroll up here. We're gonna grab everything in here. We'll paste that like so. And then make sure to import this chip. We'll do that. Whoops. Looks like I messed something up there. I deleted some brackets, so let's have a look. Yeah, so let's get rid of all of this here. There we go. And we'll get our import. Grab this chip there. So we'll paste that in there like so. And then I'll just go down here. It looks like we're grabbing all this. Get styles. So we'll throw that in right there. And then everything else is going to go inside of here. Let's grab that. We'll put that in there like so. Let's go ahead and save. Let's see if we get any errors or anything. Let's refresh. Boom. So there you have it. Oliver, um, Ben Henry. Oh, look, look at that, guys. That's pretty cool. So, so much functionality in Material UI. Um, and again, this is just some local state that we have in this names array. Uh, you could be using Axios to make an API call to some sort of backend, some sort of database, Firebase, for example, uh, and this returning any sort of uh, any sort of array. Um, this one just happens to be an array of strings. So that's kind of how we can set this up on the front end, uh, kind of prior to making like an API call. So pretty cool there. Um, some other cool things you can do, but I think that kind of wraps it up there. So hope you liked the video on this one, guys. Smash the like button if you feel like got some value on it, and let's move on to the next one.